Hello, uh, so let's work on something called equivalent circuit. And uh, from the equivalent circuit, we're gonna drive feminine, I'm not sorry, not feminine, but uh, current and voltage divider. And I just wanna kinda go over a, a few things before we get started. Um, what you will need, obviously you will need a calculator, okay? Uh, just a regular calculator or a scientific calculator. Uh, you will need uh, stencils. Um, plenty of erasers and obviously a, a pencil okay without it please don't do this in a pen uh, you will have to redraw diagrams over and over again okay now before we get started let me turn the lights here real quick before we get uh, started I also have a reference sheet now I'm going to put this reference sheet up for you okay and understand this reference sheet okay so number one this if you go from node to node if I have A to B okay and I teach two resistors along a path, that's A and B, right? Then it's called a series circuit. And the series is basically defined as, and let me clean up this handwriting for you to make things easier. A series is basically REQ, I'm just gonna call this REQ or REQ1, it doesn't matter, R1 plus R2, okay? Now, in, if it looks something like this where it splits, and the ratio is one to one. It has to be one to one. Okay. So then what you're going to have is what, what you're going to have in a, in a, in a sequence is an REQ of R1, R2 divided by R1 plus R2. And that is if you have two resistors. Okay. This is the parallel. Now, if you have two or more resistors, so if you have another resistor down here, okay, that's an R3 then you will use this equation, R1, R2, R3, R4, like that, okay? For the most part, you're gonna see, you're gonna use the top equation more often. Now, I'm gonna let you pause the video right here and really copy have this equation sheet out for you. Once you have this, you will use this as a reference as I will use this as a reference to do all my circuits, okay? And be able to recognize either a series or a parallel. So let's get started, right? In this example, Okay, in this example, we have a basic circuit, and we're going to give it values, right? So we're going to give the Vs values of, let's say, 5 volts, okay? R1, we're going to say it's 5 ohms. R2 will be 10 ohms. And let's just make R3 10 ohms, it's just for the sake of making things easy, okay? We don't want to make our numbers too difficult where we can't do them. Now, here is how we operate, okay? So the first thing is, we work from the outside in. You do not work from the inside out. So you don't work in, I'm gonna use the pointer, in this direction. You're going to work from this direction, okay? So what, what you wanna look at is basically your, uh, your resistors right here, okay? Now take out your reference sheet. Now, I'm going to have a node here and a node here, right? I'm gonna draw in my nodes. If I travel from here to here and here to here, does it resemble this or does it resemble this? Clearly, here is one path, here is two paths. Now these are one to one. So here is one path, here is two paths, and these are one to one. When they're one to one, just like this, it is called a parallel parallel uh, um, circuit, parallel equivalence. So we simply take this concept here, time, and we're gonna just call this REQ1, okay, REQ1. We're gonna set REQ1 equals R1, R2, R1 plus R2. And I'm gonna do it side by side for your reference so that you can see it, right? And this is two resistors. Okay, so let me rearrange it real quick so that you can see it. I'm actually right-handed. So it's easier for me to write this way, and so you can uh, get a glass of this. So obviously, this is two or more resistors here, right? Two or more resistors. We're gonna basically copy that equation over. R1, R2, R1 plus R2. And now we're gonna redraw the circuit as such, okay? This, is here. So if this is R1, R2, obviously it's not the same equation. So what it's going to look like, okay, even though it says R1, R2, R plus 1, R2, it will be 
R2, R3, R2 plus R3, okay? And the values for that is very simple. R2 is 10, R3 is 10. So this would be 10 times 10 over 10 plus 10. That's R EQ one, okay? And now what is that equal to? Well, that's what, that's very simple. That's 100 over 20, which is R EQ one, which is five ohms, okay? Now that's five ohms, how do I redraw the circuit, okay? You simply take out a stencil as such. You wanna keep your work as neat as possible because there'll be a lot of diagrams, okay? And from the, this diagram, you will see, okay, that, and I'm gonna do this real quick. Okay, as such. So this is R1 and REQ1. just like that, okay? So this resistor here, these two resistors here are parallel because they reflect this. They're gonna use this template equation, you get, which is here, you get an equivalence, and now this is reduced to one equation. So this is here, okay? I'm gonna draw little arrows for you to help you with this. Now. Obviously, now we look at, we, our objective is to get down to one resistor, right? So now we look at this again, this is Vs again, okay? From Vs, we go from here to here. So what do you do? What do you do? Does this Vs, was this set of resistors here, if I go from here to here, okay? Does it look like this or does it look like this? If I travel, does it branch? No, clearly it's not branching one to one. So it clearly covers two resistors in one path, so it has to be here, okay? So what we can do is kinda just do this real quick, make things easy for you, okay? REQ2, now why do I call it REQ2? I, you have to learn how to make up variables as you go along, right? You're really learning to list variables that do not really exist, and you have to be able to be able to, uh, I double spoke there, you have to be able to uh, create variables to fit in the intermediate, intermediate range, okay? So REQ2 is going to reflect this circuit, which is pretty much a series, right? Which has this equation, R1 plus R2, okay? That R1 plus R2 is gonna be, in this situation, R1 plus REQ2. One, which is equal to R1 is five, R equivalence one is five. See how we keep track of these things? Is five, which is 10 ohms. What do I do? I redraw the equation again. Okay, I redraw the equation. As such, neatness is everything in these problems. If it's not neat, it's going to cause you some headaches down the road. Organization, neatness, clarity are critical components of understanding how to do this, okay? Now you have a plus Vs. Now you have REQ2, okay? And that value is here, okay? So what do we do from this position, right? What do we do? Well, we got R equivalents, we got everything, okay? We simply, now what we do is we said, okay, notice you will not want to go more than three circuits a page. You know, you're know, going to end up running out of space. So the rule of thumb for all these uh, problems are three circuits a page where you have a diagram on the left 
and your work on the right. Now, if you want to draw in arrows like I do, that's fine for clarity. It's okay. But again, remember, diagram, either right or left, and your work on the other side. Organization is key. Okay? So, you have REQ2. So, what do we do? Well, REQ2 is 10 ohms, right? So, we can just write 10 ohms here. Our VS is 5 volts here. We can write equal 5 volts here. It's fine. Okay? And then what we're going to do now is draw an I, right? Because you've got to have a current. Now, your current is going here. So your current will loop in the direction of your polarity of your voltage because it's one source, right? It's easy to tell. So there's two ways to do it. I can draw this. I loop here, just like that. Or I can draw an I here. Okay? And I'm going to label this I1. And you'll see why later I'm going to label this I1 as we do our voltage and current dividers in our next video. So I here is the same I here because it travels in a loop. Okay? I drew both. You've got to have to draw one or the other. You don't have to do both. I prefer, but you've got to have one of them. Okay? And you simply write in the equation V equals IR. This is a standard equation. So I... 1 is Vs over R EQ2. Okay? Uh, if, you, if you're confused on that step, just understand that I equals V over R. And you simply replace V with Vs. Your R EQ2. Your R here with R EQ2, just like so. And you plug in your values. So you would have 5 over 10, which is 0.5 amps. Okay, that's how you do this problem.